Hey and welcome to this new video. Today I'll show you how to use and set up Visual Studio Code for Luna scripting. If you are new to programming, Visual Studio Code or VS Code for short is a type of IDE that's short for Integrated Development Environment. It's a tool that makes coding easier and more effective, sorry, efficient with the features like IntelliSense, which provides helpful suggestions and auto completion as you write code. There are a lot of different IDEs out there, but VS Code or Visual Studio Code is lightweight, beginner friendly and easy to set up. So it's perfect for getting started with Luna scripting and programming in general. So let's jump right in and set it up. First, go to Visual Studio Code or code.visualstudio.com. Hit download for Windows. And let's wait and we will save it to our downloads folder. Click save. And now you see you have it up here or if not, Go to the folder and find it right here. Double click on it and it will open up a new window, a setup window. Just hit agree, I agree to the license. Click next. Select where you want to install it. Just normally it, it, it's only 400 megabytes, so it's not something heavy uh, it doesn't need a lot of space so just normally just on C is fine and next again and here you basically just want to hit next again and hit install and if you like this video and want to see more of Azeroth Core and Illuna development uh, hit like and subscribe, please. Back to this. So it's finally done with installing. And you can just click, uh, make sure it's ticked on, ticked on here. Launch Visual Studio Code. So let's just hit finish. And it opened up on our screen here. Okay, so let me just see what I can do here. So first off, you will get this window. Don't mind the install thing here. Just exit it. If you get it, you might not. But yes. First off, we need to install the extension slash plugin to enable the scripting support. To do that, we head over to extensions marketplace, which is the square icon on the left hand side of the screen click on it and in here you'll you can see i already had it installed from the last time i have installed uh, visual studio code but basically what you will do is write luna or so, sorry lua and you'll see this one it will come up. I'll just uninstall mine just to show you. So when you search Lua, you will find this one, this version of it. And you can see Lua language server coded by Lua. So it, uh, yeah, you can read a lot of, a lot about it, like syntax check-in and also completion, which is a big one, uh, code formatting and stuff. But let's just stay on topic here and let's install it. You click the blue install button and it's pretty fast. So it's already on installed now. You can hit the exit or the close button on the window here. And now you can go back into the explorer, which is where you will open up files and folders. So let's get started and let's see how you create a new a new script 
So first we want to open a folder. For me, I am inside of my, already inside of my development server or my server folder for Lua scripts. So what you can do is you go into your server, um, the server folder for World of Warcraft, your SROF call, and you find the folder called Lua scripts and you hit select folder. It should then open over here and it should say Lua scripts up here. So now what you're basically looking at is the same like inside of Visual Studio Code. What we are looking at right now is the same as if I just did. Uh, that's the same if, as I as if I just did like this here. So this is basically the same. It's just like opening the folder normally. But in here, you can think of this like the workspace you have now. So if you want to create, let's say, a new Lua file. So let's create, uh, click on the, folder, on the file icon here. You type my new Lua file. And to make it as a Lua file, you need to type dot Lua. And now you can see the icon even before I hit enter, the icon changes to a Lua file. So hit enter and it already opened up my new file. So now just to show you, I can actually start writing function and you can see here it makes auto completion for me of the function. So I can click enter and we basically have the bare bones of the function. Only thing we need to do is give it a name. So my awesome function. And that's it. You now know how to create or set up Visual Studio code. Set up your so-called workspace inside your Lua scripts folder. And you now know how to create new Lua files easily. So this was everything for today. Thank you for watching and remember to like, subscribe and leave a comment down below if you have any recommendations on anything you want to see me try and make videos on. Thank you for watching. See ya.